Okay, I'll try to go nice and mellow. Um, so basically what this was, was trying, I started wanting to read up on um, the trench marker and what happens with rail and so on and so forth. Because I wanted to um, send the uh, engineering unit, this guy over here, like I said, I'll try to go nice and mellow. Uh, the one I was talking about in a previous video, that guy here. Um, so I'd like him to go and f uh, fix this rail line, but then I was wondering, okay, what what's going to go on with the movement? Is there any point with the trench? And then guess what? Here we go. I'm going to hit pause so I don't have to go too much. Well, I just found out that that trench um, should have been uh, turned into a devastation marker a long time ago because I should not be allowed to um, have that trench vac uh, vacant. I thought it was only the, the construction marker, but take a look. It says if uh, 22.4, if a trench or construction marker is ever, oh God, it's just a, it just blows me away the way my mind just goes, rip, just misses huge chunks. Uh, if a trench or construction marker is ever found at any instant to be in a hex not occupied by a unit capable of trench construction, that marker is immediately removed from the map. For an example, uh, for example, an infantry unit retreats from a hex containing a construction marker. The construction marker is removed before the advance after combat takes place. Um, and then what was the other one that I, I noticed? I just kept on going. Hold on here. Aha. Um, uh -huh. uh, nope. 2210. So 2210. Um, beginning with the first turn of April 1915, trenches are not destroyed completely by retreat and advance after combat. Should a hex with a trench marker be entered by enemy combat units as a result of advance after combat, the trench marker is replaced with a devastation marker. If one is not available, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then um, it's... Uh -huh. uh, hold on here. Uh, devastation markers add two to the movement point cost of entering the hex that the marker occupies. There is no defensive benefit. A devastation marker is replaced by a trench marker whenever trench construction is completed in the same hex. The movement point cost of trenches and devastation markers is included in calculating the length of supply lines and in determining if the hex can be entered by a unit using the one hex per Turn minimum move rule. There was one other one that I knew. Um, I thought maybe that's it. Maybe that's the end of it. But um, ah, it, oh, oh my God! Look, twenty-two, uh, twenty-two, twenty-two optional. Players may begin cons trench construction at the beginning of their part of any turn. Exactly seven turns later, the construction is complete and a trench marker is placed in the hacks of construction. Players must themselves keep track of when trench construction was started in each hex. Awesome. That's exactly what I've been uh, doing anyways. Of course, yet again, I missed huge chunks of the rules. Um, yeah, oh, that's exactly like I remember even doing a side vi a little bit of a video going on about this is ridiculous and so on and so forth. I think even Callendale mentions it. So there we go. Um, okay, this is the only other thing I am quibble wise, I'm going to say, which drives me up the flipping tree. And I'm wondering, it's starting to make me wonder, there was obviously one more than one person editing this because they jump back and forth with capital letters and um, not using capital letters. And it drives me up the flipping tree. So here you'll see trench marker all in capitals, all in capitals. And then it'll be all in capitals in one paragraph and not all in capitals. Um, uh, trust me. Oh, there's one. Trench construction. You'll say, okay, but that's not whatever. Trench marker. Uh-huh. Why is that not capitalized? And so on and so forth. Devastation marker. There, it's there. And then it's not. Anyways, that's the only thing. I don't want to leave on a good, uh, bad note. Um... Yeah, okay, the good note is I found out that i got to remove that freaking trench and turn it into a devastation marker. That's what it means. It also secondly means that I have to find out why the heck he has all these things. What is it trying to represent? I am assuming it's representing the fact that um, by now trenches are becoming really... Um, 
you know what I mean? Like it's not just a rinky dink uh, trenches anymore. These things are have got like infrastructure going back and so on and so forth. I don't. That's what I'm going with. Like it's like okay, we're hunkering down, hunkering down type of trenches now. Not um, you know just uh, yeah. That's why I'm going with it. Okay, see you later.